This is how to replace a blower fan assembly for a 2003 caravan. This is um, good up to a 2007 caravan according to the website. It's um, quite a, um, a tedious job. You have to have a small hands really to do it. First you're going to want to take out your glove compartment and uh, unlatch these, pull these out. And it's good to take out the side panel here too. You're going to pull the carpet all the way out and you're going to um, of course disconnect these and um, of course first of all you want to disconnect the battery before you get to any of this so you don't like uh, trigger the airbag by accident or electrocute yourself by accident if the car is on so after that you're going to um, you know you don't have to take any screws out here what you're going to do is remove all these screws here you see up here and here there's a, um, one right over here on the, um, the top and then there's one way in the back that's going to be the most difficult one to do. What you're going to have to do is tear all this out. That's what I did. Just tear all the insulation out, tear it out, and you're going to need this. It's an extension for a screwdriver. And you're going to um, have your little um, adopter right here you're going to use. And you're going to put that on the top, and it's like so. And then you're going to hook up to your screwdriver and you're gonna like go all the way back there and get it right on there and take it out but you're not gonna have any maneuverability unless you remove all this insulation I pulled it all down I had to tear it to pieces and I stuffed it up there I'm gonna tape it up and put it all back in there and um, once you, once you you know are able to pull out the assembly you have to be careful pull it out a little bit and then you're gonna pull off the there's a, a blade in there for the in and the out um, in the assembly and what you want to do is like pluck it off the bottom then carefully push it down when you pull the motor assembly out there's like uh, three screws on the motor assembly you're gonna pull out and you're gonna carefully pull out the motor as you're pushing the plastic back very carefully and then you're gonna put the new motor in and the most important thing is understand that you're going to have to keep the air vent um, in the um, what is it called? Um, oh, closed position. In other words, keep the air vent to the right because when you start the car up, the air vent's always to the right. So when you when you put the motor in, you have it all screwed up. Make sure the vent's to the right when you push it popped in. And this way, um, it all because your, your car is always um, factory de uh, default set to have um, the air from the outside coming into the car. And when you press the button, this way it'll it'll um, close it off and it'll move to the right and everything will work properly. And it's going to be a little difficult again, you know, to get that um, screw back up in there. So the best thing I recommend is some of this gooey stuff I got on my car. It's like the sticky stuff they use to stick on walls and stuff. And I just accidentally had it in the car, of course. And you stick that inside the socket wrench. And, um, and that'll hold the screws and that'll hold the wrenches together so nothing falls apart when you're doing it. And you just push everything back on and up. And I'll show you in a second. Working fine. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Of course, I was, well, was dilly-dallying around looking for tools and stuff. But if you have everything all set to go, the right tools, and like I said, the most important thing is um, this one's too small. I, I really recommend you find that nice long one that I just had. Well, good thing I wasn't looking for it. It was behind the uh, carpet there. I probably would have closed it up. But this is an invaluable tool and extension for your uh, screwdriver. So you need a screwdriver, and um, you're going to need um, this. This might also help a little bit, but I, I really didn't have to use it. Okay, and um, I got. Um, it's, a, it's a cheesy place. It took a while to get the part, and it was really cheap, and uh, they don't have the best of ratings, but if you're looking to save money, it, I did save we 20, 30 bucks on the part. It cost me about um, 70, uh, 66 bucks, I think. Okay, so there you go. Nice and easy to replace your um, blower fan, and if you've got big grubby hands, I do not recommend this job for you. The problem with these cars is the um, resistor um, for the uh, motor and sometimes that goes. I replaced that first, took about 15 minutes, the part was like $16 at the store. And all you have to do is take out these two screws and you pull it out and you put, um, place it back in there. It's like a $15, $16 part. And um, that wasn't the problem. My motor would, would um, turn off, turn on. After the car was on a while, the motor would just totally go. And after research, I found that it was it, it's the motor. The motor's uh, got about 170,000 miles on it. So, um, you know, this is um, a cheap and effective way, if you're good at mechanical things, to um, fix your car. So, you know, you, you certainly would want to replace this after 170,000 miles. And I have the motor replaced and everything's working fine, and it's all going back together now.